It's an experimental supersonic jet fighter, a technology demonstrator developed by Sukhoi Corporation. The S-37, as it was called at that time, was projected as the first air superiority combat aircraft for the Russian Air Force. The most characteristic features of the Sukhoi Su-47 are its forward-swept wings, and it had its first flight in 1997. The Berkut, which means Golden Eagle or Royal Eagle in Russian, initially used only an S instead of the current SU or SU-47 designation because it was an experimental design aircraft and not a mass-produced one. It was initially designated as S-32 and S-37 during the initial development. And although the Berkut has been referred to as SU-47 since 2002, suggesting a series device for production, the reality is that it has been used as a prototype for demonstrating new technology. Welcome to a new video. This is the Aeropedia of Aviation World. The S-37 project at this time was projected as the first air supremacy combat aircraft for the Russian Air Force successfully leveraging the principle of forward swept wing or inverted arrow technology. For a long time, the advantages of the inverted arrow wing had been considered with the research and development of models based on the studies of the Junkers HU-287 captured in the 40s in Germany. Inverted arrow wings produce greater maximum lift, reduced bending moments and late stall entries compared to more traditional wing shapes. higher angles of attack, the wingtips remain without stall. That is, the phenomenon of entering a loss. And this allows this type of aircraft to maintain control of the ailerons at large angles of attack. The airflow over a positive or regressive swept wing tends to slide outward towards the marginal edges. With high angles of attack, the airflow will move away from the wing, rendering the external control surfaces ineffective. The ailerons become ineffective, as does the roll control and the ability to maneuver. On the other hand, with the negative or progressive sweep wing, the tendency is to move inward. Even if the airflow separates from the wing, the outer control surfaces remain effective for longer and control can be maintained even at fairly high attack angles. It makes the ailerons remain effective for longer and the plane can be controlled even at the limit of the stall. Unfortunately, already in the flight tests with the Junkers Ju-287, they also revealed the basic problem in this concept. The negative arrow accentuated the tendency for wing torsion, which is subjected to heavy loads and tends to separate from the fuselage. The solution came with materials based on thin carbon fibers soaked in a resin that hardens when subjected to heat, which resulted in a product of high resistance. The Burkut's wing is composed of 90% composite material. It's a really big plane. Its dimensions are practically identical to those of its cousin, the SU-27, and all its derivatives like the SU-35. 
It has a length of 22.6 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 35 tons. The speed of the first S37 prototype was only Mach 1.6, compared to the 2,500 km per hour maximum speed of the Su-27 of the and this is due to the air resistance of the new canard's wing configuration installed in front of the main wings and advanced almost to the cockpit and its new unconventional design of inverted arrow wings was the real innovation of the plane with this arrangement the design is called the tandem triplane The flight control system was computerized fly-by-wire type or electronic control piloting similar to the one used in the previous project which was already in the testing phase, the Su-35. It allowed the aerodynamics of the aircraft, already of an unstable nature, to be controlled at all times by the new flight computers to prevent it from stalling. It will also assist the pilot in takeoffs and landings so that he can focus on combat missions. The Su-47 can perform maneuvers of up to 9G and was going to have no less than 14 attachment points. It had a new sighting system for combat against other infrared search and track fighter planes similar to the one possessed by the experimental Su-37 fighter from the Suhoi Su-27 family of mass production. With a targeting system in the pilot's helmet, a small dome in a transparent dome above the radar cone in front of the cockpit dome being a system for searching and tracking enemy targets by infrared. Two bands of infrared radiation work and are used together with the aircraft's radar in air-to-air -air missions. The fuselage is made of aluminum with a titanium alloy and 13% composite material with a coating for low radar detection. It is considered as a base experimentation platform for the development of what later became the new fifth-generation air supremacy fighters, the Su-57. Although it has not served in combat and is used as a test model, it's Work in the development and improvements in Russian aeronautics has been truly remarkable. Thank you. Until a new video, this has been the world of aviation's Aeropedia. Thank you.